This time, we're following Kieran, Alex, and Delight as they try to make their mark at our school. One of the biggest worries when you move up to Year 7 is how to make a good impression. But two students who don't seem too worried are old primary school mates, Kieran and Alex. They're a bit of a handful. <laughs> Kieran is very loud and energetic. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, huh? Leprechaun. He likes putting his hair to the side and singing. Do you like singing? But their behaviour is already getting them into trouble. Stop making silly noises. Is that your gymnastics? You are, sorry. Like, right. When I get told off, um, it's either for whispering, like a chatting, while the teacher's talking, or sometimes I daydream about motorbikes. And that's because Kieran has a very exciting hobby. Speedway. Speedway is a very good motorsport and you can meet new friends there. What, what I like about it is it's like really fast and high energy. At first, it was my dad that I got into them. He, he started racing, and well, that's just got me into it. I, I want to do it now. Kieran might have a need for speed outside school, but Alex prefers a quieter life. I describe myself as like a sporty person. I like golf. I'm the only one that plays golf out of my friends. My dad used to play it and like, I used to go around with like this one ball and just like smack it on the course. <laughs> and then I got like this like really small set of clubs and started playing. If you win a medal, you qualify for a medal final. I won the monthly medal three, so it's like detachable. With Kieran's speedway and Alex's love of golf, sitting still in class can be a challenge. Hmm, I hope they settle down in my science lesson. You can get set up to collect some... Wait, 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 wait. Don't talk and put my ruler down. Thank you. I would recommend that you try where possible to use the outside benches, all right, because then you're, gonna, you're not going to be crossing the classroom uh, with flames, OK? Time to light the Bunsen burners. But can Kieran and Alex be trusted not to play with fire? <laughs> Looking about with flames is definitely not acceptable. When you were like in this splint wood oh, yeah. thing, it, it was like massive. It was like a massive flame. Was like massive for me for some reason. Oh my god! Take it out, Alex! Alex, take it out! <laughs> Alex, hold it with the tip like that and point it like that. These two could easily hurt themselves. <laughs> And that's what happens when you're not careful, Alex. <laughs> Luckily, I spot him before he can do any more damage. <coughs> Why did you just light that and then put that out? Go and sit down, take your goggles off. You are no longer taking part in this. He's not strict, but I think it's because... Safety. Yeah, he, like, he doesn't want anybody to get hurt and it's all like <laughs> safety and stuff. Because like, fires are dangerous. Spot on, Alex. For the new year sevens, starting secondary school means trying lots of new things. Like rapping in French. <laughs> 
It's five years since Delight, along with her mum, brother and sister, came to the UK from Zimbabwe in Africa. She's really determined to do well at school and make her mum proud. Zimbabwe is, is like where I was born. I don't think I, anyone can really ever forget where they're from. And it's what made me me. I think without being from Zimbabwe, I wouldn't appreciate everything that I have. I like this one most. This one. Yeah, this is this is when I graduated from yeah, from like, nursery, wasn't it? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Delight's dad was in the UK preparing for his family's arrival when he died very suddenly. When I was five or six, he came back to my country for a month, and he and he like lived with us for that long, and then he came back down here, and then he died. Her mum's strength has inspired Delight to try her best to succeed. My mum is so great because she's, she's always like been there for me and um, she brought me to this country when we didn't know anything. She stuck by us and she made sure that we had like a roof over our head and that we had food and she's just really nice. You can't put it with this one. Oh, really? In tutor time, 7AG are talking about their heroes. Oh, thanks very much for that, Sam. Well done. Next, I'll have... Delight. And Delight doesn't have to think too hard about hers. Uh, uh, my hero is my mum. So what's special about your hero? Because, because my dad died, I only had my mum left. Yeah, and she saw she was like always taking care of me, and like we've been through a lot together. And yeah, she's really good. She's really amazing. So, from looking at your mum's special qualities, what are you gonna take from that and emulate her? How, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna try as hard as I can because my mum worked so hard to get me here. The best way I can repay her is by doing my very best. Fantastic. Well done. Thank you very much, Delight. It's break time, and the hot topic is what happened in science with Kieran and another boy, also called Alex. Yeah. Hi. Did you get called off in science yesterday? No. Yeah, you did. When? When we were in science, and Alex dropped his pen, and I was like kicking it to him. I went to go and push my chair in more, and then my foot slipped off, and then it kicked him sort of because he was like, yeah. Oh, oh, God. Then oh, oh, I kicked him in the forehead. But nobody seems to be buying Kieran's story. So your foot just slipped up towards Alex's forehead? No, well, literally his head was like, like that, right over to like where I was sat. I know you didn't mean to kick him in the forehead, but did you mean to kick him? No. Well, when I told them, they were like, oh, well, you kicked them on purpose, and I was like, I wasn't. It annoyed me quite a lot because they, they weren't on that table and they didn't know what happened. And they were presuming I did it on purpose. Yeah, it just slipped his foot like this into Alex's head. Oh, yeah, it was a complete accident. No, because you sat down, I didn't just go, oh, I don't. With rumours flying around the school, my fellow science teacher, Miss Panda, tries to find out exactly what happened. OK, it's probably back to So she's called Kieran and Alex in for a chat. What happened yesterday in my lesson? Um, Alex's pencil, like, fell on the mm -hmm. floor and yeah. then I was, like, kicking it towards him. Yeah. Um, I don't know how, but, like, my foot slipped over and, mm -hmm. like, nudged him a bit. Yeah, I don't know whether Kieran's foot slipped or, like, it was, like, he yeah, didn't think it the did. pencil had yeah. gone away and he was trying to kick it again, but okay. I bent down and got it. So what do you want to say to Alex about yesterday? Sorry. Sorry. OK, do you want to shake on it? <laughs> Accidents happen, OK, and you two... You just need to keep an eye on each other, OK? Apologising, like, for something that you didn't do on purpose is quite annoying because, like, you didn't mean to do it, but you still have to say, oh, sorry for doing it. Miss Panda's, like, quite nice and she deals with things, and, like, in a good way. OK, good luck. So that's the end of that. Back to lessons, lads.
In geography, 7AG are in groups designing a plan of the school. Hello, Iman, Iman, Kieran. Okay, we're going to do a presentation and we're going to keep these cards so that people have something to say and if you forget. So these are very precious. Delight's taken the role of group leader, but not everyone shares her enthusiasm for the task. What are you doing? Yes, I'm in. Right here in the middle is the quad. Right here in the middle. Right here. Oh, sorry. When I came to this country, I was pretty shy. But then after a while, when I knew what to say and I knew I'd stand up for myself, I kind of grew a lot more confident. And I think I'm happy about that because I don't want to be hiding in the corners. I want to be right there in the middle. I'll help you two guys. No, okay. sure, go you two. You two have to write. This welcome to our presentation. Yeah, hope I've done it. You work. It's like I'm looking after a little tiny baby. Put that down. Kira, put it down. Delight, used to. I can be kite bossy, and in that bossy way, I'm also pretty serious. So I'm like, let's do this right now. I think it's important to set an example. I don't know. I'm just gonna like. I'm just gonna keep trying hard. I guess, and then I'll see, and I'll see where it gets me. Good for you, Delight. But you've got your hands full with this lot. What are you doing here? <laughs> Whilst Delight is trying to be a model pupil, in 7CG, Kieran and Alex's behaviour seems to be taking a turn for the worse. <laughs> Boys. We have a sanction thing in school that if you're warned several times by a member of staff, that you'll then get. I, well, I'm on my third time now asking you to work. We got told off a lot. We talk too much. Yes, 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 we do. And there are more warnings in French. Okay. Get them Okay. Check them out. Uh, whoop, whoop. No. <laughs> Boys. Sometimes I can get like carried away in that because I have got a lot of energy, but I don't mean to get into trouble, but like, I just, I just do. This is your last chance, okay? Mm, I don't think they're listening. Boys. Now, you know when I speak in English, it means somebody's getting into trouble. <laughs> it's nice to sit next to each other, but it does lead to trouble because we make each other laugh. And then land on your feet, can you do that? Yes. What are you swanking? <laughs> <laughs> OK, then. But in tutor time, the boys really test Miss Gibbons' patience to the limit. Close your mouth. If you cross the line, then like, she will like tell you off. Brilliant. Um, settle down. Because you will be split up, I'm not lying. I think that our tutor group talk a lot, and so I think I get a bit annoyed. I've looked around school, and they're going to see um, if they like the school, just get a little bit of a feel for the school. Do you want to go and wait outside? Yeah, go and stand at the door, please. Right, seriously, when I ask you to be quiet. Um, year seven, can you keep this noise down, please? Okay. Not only was I talking, you were throwing things at me, trying to eat them, OK? Happy birthday to you. Surely Alex will settle down now. Alex, are you talking about who your hero is? I hope so. Mm, maybe not. I actually hate being told off. It just gives me, like, this massive sinking feeling. When I get told off, which is very rare, very rare, I'm just getting that word out, rare, um, I feel ashamed. You can't use school. No, I'm not having an attention. I'm not even talking. Yeah, because uh, you just got to take for all this stuff, don't you? That's life. It's life. I think they should give you a second chance. Thankfully, I haven't had a detention yet, so I won't be, so... If, but if I did get a detention for something that I hadn't do, then I'd be really annoyed. I'm not scared of teachers, nowhere. Only the head teachers and deputy heads, like Mrs. Scary and Miss Spellman and Mrs. Livesey, I've never been shouted at by them yet. <laughs> no, shh, shh, shh. Yes. Right, take a seat, listen. So the tutor group can get to know each other a bit better 
Mr Glenn Denning has asked them to bring in a personal item from home. First person up. Come on, Delight. It's a chance for Delight to share some memories of her life in Zimbabwe and to show the class her favourite photo. When you're ready, Delight, describe what it is. This picture is of when I graduated, uh, thingy. When I graduated nursery. Right. <laughs> oh, you don't look any different. <laughs> we did a performance as well, and like we were all like singing <laughs> and, and and like doing dances and everything with everybody around. And like my mum came as well, and she had a big present for me afterwards. What song did you sing? I don't remember. I know a bit of the words. What was the Come on then. Sing it. Sing it. Sing it. We just want to hear you sing. Go delight. Go delight. No, no. Go delight. They were all like, sing, 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 sing. I was like, okay. Three, two, three, four. Listen to the voice I hear a melody. I sing, but can't complete. Listen to the sound from deep within. Wow. Well done. It felt really weird. But then afterwards, everyone was like, oh my god, Delight, you sounded so good. Sing for us again. Like, no. <laughs> when I'm singing, I feel kind of different. I can't really explain it. I'm just like. I'm just like really happy and I'm just like kind of lost in the music. It gives me confidence. It looks as if Kieran's messing around is beginning to affect his work. Now I'm looking around and I can see quite a few people with the questionnaire asked you to, to fill in. Maths teacher Mr Clayton gave 7CG some homework to do. And you put your hand up if you haven't brought that in for me, please. Wait. But Kieran hasn't completed it. No one. That means I should be able to see it on everyone's desk. And I'm looking I've, around. I've I can't it see in, it on but yours, it's like Kieran. Half done. Why is it only half done? Well, I didn't do it at the time. No, that's not an excuse. Say if you got homework on one day, and then like you didn't get time to do it, then the next day you'd get like two pieces of homework. You'd just be packed with homework. Yeah. Right. So you really telling me, Kieran? that you didn't have ten minutes spare last night. In fact, you only had five minutes spare that you did half of it. Well, I think I did a bit, because um, I was busy that day. And then I tried to do a bit in the morning and then didn't get time. So, just what were you doing, Kieran? Um, well, I, I was eating the tea. <laughs> I filled in some last night and then I think I filled in a bit more. So really, what you're saying is you did a bit last night and a bit more this morning, you didn't give it enough priority to do it all in one go, right? I had to help my dad do some stuff. Stuff, like? Like, like um, fix, I think it was the floor or something, because there was a big crack. And then I think that was it. And then I did a bit after that. <laughs> Very believable story. <laughs> Mm, carry on like this, Kieran, and everything might start going horribly wrong. Right, can everybody who's doing their speech come to the front? Quietly. Quietly. At the start of the year, each tutor group elects two students to be on the school council. Can we now have Delight? In 7AG, Delight has decided to run for election, and this is her big moment. Good afternoon, 7AG. Now, you all know me as Delight, but hopefully with your vote and your help, I will have the pleasure of being your new and first student leader. I think it's important to set an example. It's not like people are going to follow you, listen to what you have to say sometimes, but it's quite important because like, people expect you to be more sensible than the other people. Now, I would like to promise you I will get everything you want, but that would be me telling you lies, and that is not what being a student leader is about. Especially not this one. But I can promise you I will try my very best to get you what you want and need. All of you, this whole class, including you, sir, then I guarantee you, I'm the girl to pick. Round of applause. 
right at the end. Yeah, everyone clapped. Yeah, I was happy. And everyone was like, oh, you're going to win, you're going to win. Delight did well, but she knows there's plenty of competition. <laughs> Over in 7CG, Kieran's also decided to run for the school council. Yes! Come on, Kieran! After his recent behaviour, could this be a chance to impress the class and get back into Miss Gibbon's good books? Okay, mature. Um, I should be a student leader because I wasn't really. What? Not a great start, Kieran. Have another go. Okay. I should be a student leader because I really wasn't part of anything in primary. Uh, I'm good at listening to people's ideas. I'm responsible, and I can I can follow the instructions that the teacher gives me, and well, will be helpful. Is that everything? OK, brilliant. Well done, Kieran. I decided to run for student leader because I like being the captain. It was kind of nervous because you don't know how to pronounce the easy words because, like, your nerves are a bit, like, over the top. That felt stupid. Why? <laughs> it sounded know. lovely. Because they were laughing. It was very professional. <laughs> ah, Miss Gibbon seems impressed. Could the tide be turning for Kieran? Meanwhile, Delight has been trying some of the many activities that Year 7 has to offer. I guess in my free time, I want to be like, I want to be doing something that I really like. So when I join like all drama and music, I want to like let them know that I'm like, I'm ready to like do this. I want to be a singer, I want to be a dancer, I want to be an actor. <laughs> yeah, it's all out there. But as well as the music and drama clubs, there's some exciting news for Delight. In December, we're going to be holding a talent competition for all of Year 7. Yeah! And Mr Glenn Denning's got high hopes for 7AG. We're going to win the talent competition, aren't we? Yeah! Aren't we? But first, they'll have to assemble a crack team of performers. And it seems everyone wants to audition. Hello, hello. Let's see it. A song on the radio, but it don't sound the same. Delight loves singing, and she seems pretty confident. If they do choose me, then we get to sing in front of the whole Year 7 and win for our class and show that Year 7 AG is the best. And I want to be the... And I really want to do that. <laughs> Crying. I believe the soldier's dying. But hang on a minute, she's got some competition in Chloe. Oh, I believe, you believe, <laughs> With her nerves growing, Delight turns to classmate Yas for reassurance. I think, I think you're going to win. You're amazing. You're oh. really good at singing. Oh, thanks. I don't know. I think Chloe is like my, my one person that I think I really like need to like compete with. Yeah. Because her voice is like really amazing. I, I don't I don't know if you know. I'm so scared though. It's really scary. Nobody can be confident all the time. <laughs> Feeling inspired when you start year seven is really important. Whether you're creative, academic, or sporty. Local athlete Kat Copeland won a gold medal for rowing at the 2012 Olympics and was awarded an MBE. Um, hello. Uh, thanks for having me. Um, the school have invited her to talk to Year 7 about how she stayed motivated. Two main things looking back that I would say to you that I wish someone had have said to me in Year 7. Set little targets and be ambitious and want to make yourself better little goals and that persistence is so important it's really like fun to see other people that have achieved something higher and that you know that maybe one day if you try as hard as them you could be just like them and you could just be on that stage so yeah it was really good i, I really liked it you're not going to learn french in a week and you're not going to become an olympian in a year it's just like trying hard and doing a little bit every single day Great words, and exactly what Delight needed to hear. There's just time to announce the winners of the student elections. From AJ, 
talking about Adam and Delight. Delight's election speech managed to win over the class after all. I didn't really think I'd win. I thought they would just listen to it, but they wouldn't really pick me, but I was glad when they did. But Kieran has been pipped at the post. Never mind, there's always next time. I was, I felt like, not gutted, but a bit, like, upset because, like, I didn't get the chance. But I think they deserved it because they were good. Cheers, big ears, and thanks, big pants. Kieran's trying really hard to settle down into life at our school. Yay, I am. He's not sitting with Alex anymore, which just might help them both focus a bit better in lessons. I think there will be changes in me um, as next year in a few months. Oh, I've got a good one. I think I might be more mature. Um, da -da 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 -da, ride more bike, da -da. Well, let's hope so anyway. And Delight's doing really well so far, but with the Year 7 talent show only weeks away, will she be ready to take to the stage and face the music? Yes, sir. Next time on Our School, we'll meet Harry, who loves Ooh. his dinosaurs. <laughs> and James, who's trying to get to grips with his dyslexia. What would you want other people to know? about being dyslexic. How hard it is.